Good sunny afternoon, micro followers. Welcome to my extremely rigged and breaking all the rules late garden. I wasn't real happy with not having a garden this year considering that's where the garden was supposed to be and we never got it tilled. So I gathered up my cinder blocks. I bought me some container gardening soil and went ahead and thought, oh well. We're going to put some stuff in the ground and if it grows great and if it doesn't i'm not any worse off than when i started right so no guts no glory i had some controversy on whether or not it was okay to plant things in cinder blocks i didn't know that um quote unquote old cinder blocks had different elements in it than the current made cinder blocks there was some argument about ph levels and calcium levels and roasting the roots of your plants and like I said, I just was like, whatever, I'm going to try it and hope for the best. So, <clears throat> I ran into a few little trials. One being I ran out of raised uh, container bed soil. I ended up digging into my bucket of compost, which unfortunately was uh, 90, probably 95% rabbit poop. And there wasn't much soil in it at all. So we'll see how that works out, but I have an onion here in the first little uh, block that I started. I'm trying to get it to go to seed. It's been planted for quite some time. It's not dead, but it's not doing anything either. Next to it, I got some green onions planted. And then came my second trial or mistake, I guess. I didn't mark anything. So somewhere in here, I have carrots and spinach and something <laughs> not sure walmart had cucumbers on markdown so i got a few of those i don't remember what i planted here <laughs> again tomato plants were given to me by my friend kelly the peppers they also had on markdown they were looking really super sad yesterday and they've perked up quite a bit since I've planted them. As you can see, the jalapeno peppers aren't doing that bad. And this one, I think, is a yellow banana pepper. Over here, we got some butternut squash, which is looking really rough. I don't know. It's uh, died and came back three times since I've had it. It was in a pot. This is another tomato plant that's kind of looking rough uh, that was given to me. The tomato plants seem to be going through that, but they... You know, they've been in the pot since I've got them, so this is actually their first time being in the dirt. Hopefully they'll bounce back. Between these two poles that used to be the duck enclosure and the gate, of course, um, I have put up some old chicken wire, and I planted all the peas down at the bottom of there. Like I said, I ran out of soil. They're covered in rabbit poop, so cross your fingers. This part right here wasn't even a part of the garden, but um, I decided to just figure out something to put in there. So I've got carrots right here. I've got several. I think I planted six, maybe, yeah, six, six green beans. And then down here on the end, I got some watermelon that I'll be flipping over the end. I wanted to till this up right here and put my corn. I know it's late for corn, but again, I don't even care. I'm like, putting stuff in the ground for the sake of whatever but I can't run that tiller and obviously I I would I don't have anybody to till up the ground otherwise that would have been done so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the corn yet I've actually watched a few videos where people have uh grown corn in cinder blocks and I have cinder blocks left so I don't know we'll see I'm out of soil I tried to dig up some soil out of where the ducks were because this is obviously going to be nice fertile soil problem being is um way before we bought the house this area used to be a dog kennel and there is lots of stone and gravel about four inches down so that makes things really super complicated everything on the surface is nice and fertilized but i can't get down there so i don't know we'll see i need more dirt <clears throat> this I'm so happy to report these beautiful little babies. This is the raspberry bush that was gifted to me by my brother-in-law's grandmother. Uh, Jean Zoller, absolutely love, love, love those people. 
and she said, Ange, I've got raspberries, you know, coming out my ears. Get these things out of here. I went and picked it up. It had been sitting in the sun all day long. <laughs> Wasn't really sure. Didn't have high hopes. It was another one of those. Well, hopefully it works out. And obviously it's working out pretty well. I'm stoked because I've planted raspberries. Oh gosh, probably a half dozen times uh, in the five years that I've been doing this and have never succeeded. So still got my blueberries uh, and my grapes on my wish list, but I can officially mark off raspberries. Now I'm going to take you out to the back acre and I want to show you something really cool. You guys remember all those videos where I was bringing out the pumpkin and watermelon and all that kind of stuff for the ducks? <laughs> Look at this. I don't know what's growing, but even though this was all supposed to be a garden this year and it didn't get put down, I'm growing stuff anyway. I personally cannot tell the difference between pumpkins and watermelons until they actually start growing fruit. So right now I've got some beautiful foliage. Some of it's looking a little rough uh, water wise. We have clay soil and of course this wasn't planted purposely. So, you know, it's kind of uh, rebellious in its growth, but I won't know what it is until uh, it starts producing fruit, but it's surprisingly doing pretty well considering it's an accident. So I'm pretty happy about that because one thing I was bummed about with the garden this year is that I missed the quota on uh, putting pumpkins in the ground. So that kind of sucked. One last thing I want to show you, which is really super cool and completely involuntary. I can't explain it, but I'm not going to try and figure it, figure it out. For those of you who know me on a personal level, you know that I lost my mother in 2019. I had to retrieve her rose bush. And I know nothing about roses. I can't. I don't have a green thumb. None whatsoever. <clears throat> so I went and got it. I should have showed you when I was up there at the front of the house. And I plopped it down in a bucket of rabbit poop. And it is thriving. It's doing wonderful. But when I was back here with the weed eater last week or week before... Look what I found. Anybody want to explain how that happens? Because, you know, if a bird eats a mulberry and, you know, takes off and poops a mile away, you're going to grow a mulberry tree right there. And, uh, but that's not how roses work. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's not. But I know one thing it is really super cool so that's my garden update like i said earlier i ran out of soil and i really wanted to put a few more things in the ground i still don't have green peppers and that really bothers me because green peppers are a thing in our household so um i'm thinking this patch right here <clears throat> this corner was where the silky enclosure was and of course, I still have old straw down, so you know that there's soil and no um, wheat under there. So I think I'm going to bring the hand tiller back here. As fun as that sounds. Bring the hand tiller back here and see if I can't pull up some of the soil in the wheelbarrow. And then run it back up to the house to put some corn and green peppers down. I had such a hard time. I was trying to find green pepper plants. <clears throat> Everybody was sold out. And uh, ironically enough, I found green pepper seeds in my stash. So now I'm on a mission for corn and green peppers. I want to put the corn right here on the other side of the garden, facing north and south. But, you know, we'll see. Who knows? I'm breaking so many rules with putting this garden down this year, but why not? There's my mama's rose bush. Doing quite well, I'm proud to say. And I told her that when I planted it. Okay, I'm going to stick it in dirt and you take it from here, mama. All right. 
I'm gonna get off here, get me some lunch so I can get this yard mowed. But I just wanted to jump on real quick, give you an update, tell you what I've been working on, and uh, we'll see what makes it and what don't. You know, it's worth a try as far as I'm concerned. The worst thing, is, like I said, is going to happen is it's not going to make it. And if that's the case, I'm not any worse off than I was when I started. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, follow along on my uh, ridiculously outdated, rebellious gardening summer. I love you guys. Have a good one.